All right, everybody. Welcome, welcome back to another episode of King's Cave 80. Um, today, today you might see a different uh, setup, a different light, a different vibe. Yeah. Was... Uh, we have a special guest. Very special guest. Very, very special. I've always wanted to have him or someone like him in the podcast. And you'll see why. Um, he's a big collector. Uh, but the interesting is, like, it's, it's, a, it's a private collector. Mm -hmm. Completely opposite to me. But let's welcome to Kevin. Kevin from Ohio. Ohio. Welcome, welcome. Nice welcome, to be welcome here. brother. Nice to be here. Thank you. Thank you for coming all the way, man. I know you didn't come only for the podcast. We'll talk a little bit about that in, in, in a little bit. But, uh, but thank you for coming all the way, yes, brother. Yes, yes. Uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> and you, right. uh, yeah. Me too. Finally, my finally. Uh, uh, There's a face behind it. Yeah. Behind, yeah, it, yeah. behind it, right? Yeah. All right, all right, Kevin. Thank you. So, uh, I know uh, as a private collector, it's always you know, uh, to me, it just kind of like fascinates me because it's complete the opposite to to what I do to 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 the way that I put all my collection out there, right? So uh, and. But like, if you were to introduce, you know, to the to the people, like, how far can you introduce? Like, who are you? What do you do? What do you collect? Uh, what can you tell me, really? Like, so what, what do you want to know? Do you want to know why am I, I am just, a yeah, just introduce yourself and to the community? Like, what do you do? Like, as far uh, as, as far as the as the, as the, as the, as the hobby. As you said, I'm a private collector, mm -hmm. so I you know I stay you know in the shadows for the most part, you mm -hmm. know, and you might ask why. Mm -hmm. Why do I do that? Yeah. And why, you know, well, it all depends on why do you collect? What is the purpose of collecting? Mm -hmm. And everyone has a different, you know, and a different, you know, answer to that. Mm -hmm. Some people do MOC. Some people do loose. Some people, you know, everyone has a preference. Yeah. You know, my biggest thrill is actually hunting down these items. Okay. And most of these guys that you, you most of the items that you are looking for, the harder to find items, yes. they're not on the open. No, no, they're, they're not, not in the open, uh -huh. and, I, and I'm pretty sure you know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you <laughs> we'll know. We'll talk so, about that. We'll talk about that. Yeah. Right so that that's that's why I, I I'm you know I'm how can I say it? I'm a private collector because I enjoy the hunt, and I'm not doing it for approval or. Uh, Ouch! You know, <laughs> you know that, that, that I'm not looking for it, approval. Don't, don't yeah. really like, yeah, yeah, you know, from an outside source. He, he's you know, you know yeah, yeah, no, I like it. I like it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, so that that's pretty much what it is. I'm not seeking attention. You know, I do it for me. Mm -hmm. You know, because it it does bring some nostalgia. You know, from when I was a kid, and I do collect some lines that I I never had as a child. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, I kind of look at things that are hard to find, and I help collectors like yourself. You know, yes. like, you know, one of, some of my guys that I know, they tell me this, and this is what sticks to my head, is people who need to know me, know me. <laughs> and people I need to know, I know. You're like... For the most part. <laughs> you're like the, the, I don't know if you've seen the Jack Reacher oh, movie. Yeah, yeah. And like, how do you find Jack Reacher? Like, no, he finds you. <laughs> yeah. that, that, that's truly, truly what happened. Like, like, like let's just give you, give, give you guys, like, some backstory. The way that we met, or we introduced, you know, to, to, our, to, to, ourselves, to, to yeah. ourselves. You reached out to me because uh, we were uh, hunting down the same line, yeah. which is the muscle mods. Mm -hmm. And there was like a, this big lot that came out on California uh, with this lady. And I reached out to this lady. I bought a couple of pieces and then we started like talking about what, she, what else she had. And I think that was my mistake because the third piece that she put, I was, it was, it was uh, a hand puppet. And I said this, you know, maybe jockling or, 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 but because my, my mistake was not buying that, that, that piece because mm -hmm. then it opened up for you to buy it. Okay. And that's where you got in touch with her. But I was going to, I saw it bef before it was gone. And then, but at that particular moment, I didn't, I, I'm like, I didn't have enough to jump in. I was going on through other lines. I'm like, <laughs> ah, should I, I just I just bought another another puppet. I just bought another figure, mm -hmm. and then before that, I bought another like muscle mod that went on on uh, for auction. I'm like, man, I already put a lot in one week, and I didn't buy it. And that's when you bought it. Yes, but the thing here's the thing though. I didn't like I I bought that because I contacted her after seeing the puppet, and I asked, hey, do you have anything else from this line? And then she said prototypes at first. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I got the prototypes before I got the puppet. 
Oh, but you but you understood what the puppet was, so that's why you asked, right? Well, yeah, I know what the puppet was because the, the sugar tooth that you got it was listed on eBay for the longest time. Yeah, you know that was about so that I I know the sugar tooth. The, what the the the, 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 oh, the, puppet, the puppet? Yeah, the puppet. Yeah. I knew that the, the cats existed, mm-hmm. but those were like hold on. I a lot of people don't know that the the the, the puppets even existed. Mm-hmm. So and I just contacted her and I said, "Hey, do you have anything else related?" Because I wanted those puppets, mm-hmm. and you know she seemed more reasonable because, as you know, the guy you got the sugar tooth from that was posted for about what around eight thousand when it yeah. first came up. Yeah, and then she wanted, he wanted like thirty seven or something like that. Yeah, he kept going down. He kept going down. I ended up turned out the guy was from Houston, no. and then <laughs> meant to be. I ended up like negotiating the price like way down because like I can meet you in person and then I'll give you cash and I'm like, all right so. He brought it down like way down but okay but anyways yeah continue well uh, no, no 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 yeah the, 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 she she knew the prices on the puppets and then and then that, that's how you got the, the 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 prototype first yeah when that's that's super funny because when i asked her it was and it was all on the same day that's what is weird because it was like when she posted like she first posted like got her like on cart and then a couple of hours later she posted the second hand puppet that i purchased Mm -hmm. and then that's when she posted the second hand puppet that's where i contact her okay and she showed me the prototypes but she said but i don't know the price yet okay and then she and then she posted the other hand puppet that i didn't want to buy and i feel like that's where you does no no i got the prototypes first I got the but prototype. Man, like it was everything was kind of almost the, the same fir- day. My or- first contact, when I first contacted her, I said, well, she's like, of course, I have prototypes. And that's when she showed me the picture of all four. And she gave you prices right away. She said, I don't know the price yet. And mm. I said, can you please let me know? I wasn't on her. Like, that's one of the things me you neither. understand. Yeah, I just like, yeah. literally said, you know, do you have anything? And then she said, I got a price. I have a price. And then she sold me the price. And she was shocked at what the price was because I think she's working for someone yeah, else. Yeah, I think, I think that's what we figured out. Yeah, somebody she was, somebody was giving her. Yeah, a little bit because I mean, if it was just her by individually, I think she would. I would have got it for still. I would probably would have mm-hmm. nickels yeah. of it. Yeah, you know, got it for the Sam prices. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Anyways, the story like started like getting more like it started getting yeah. juicy. Yeah, yeah juicy yeah. because now we have the other side of of of, of, of third the third part, and there's probably a, like a fourth part, right? The the other, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. But uh, but it was it was it was uh, I don't know. I mean, I feel like at the end of the day, she kind of like. Part of, part of the collection, like in half or something like that. She sold half to me. Yeah. She sold some some to you. Not necessarily half, but like I think she sold close to it. Close to mm-hmm. it. Yeah, what, yeah. what she thought might be maybe fair, whatever. And then I've heard that somebody broke into her place. I don't know if you knew that. She never told me that. No, because I sent her. I don't know if you remember, but at the same, the same, the same, like a couple of days after, mm-hmm. like two, three mocks. Came up on eBay. Yes, like I do remember two, that. I do remember that. Like uh, one, one of a second wave, and another two on the first wave, and I was like, "Perfect, this is perfect." So I can complete my 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 set. And, and he was asking big price. I I negotiated like I brought it like way down. Like he came down like so fast. I'm like, this guy's probably from the same state cell because the lady first told us that it was a state uh, a state cell. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, this guy probably was at the same state cell. And then I asked the lady, oh, there was anybody else in the state cell? Would you? Because I, I just purchased this, these ones. And that's where it's like, oh, who? How? She said, uh, okay. And then that was like, no, there was not a state cell. I was actually cleaning the house. She just kind of like wanted to make it look like she was a reseller or whatever. Okay. And she was mm-hmm. like, no, nah, you know what? It's funny because uh, somebody recently broke into my place and got some of those figures. I was like, if you want me to, I can't. I can, this figures they're going to come up with an address i can send you the address like no i'm a single mother i don't want any problems i'm just going to leave it to that oh, but she probably <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was, i didn't know that that's new to me <laughs> no yeah. well you see like that's where like all the stories start like like filling it up because she told me like and those probably the the other party that got a prototype might have gotten it not from her but from the stolen items but the thing is that the, not not that he stole it but yeah, he probably got it yeah, like i got it from somebody who sold it do you realize you know that there was other things that estate sell one of those things was an actual computer well one of those things was an actual computer what, what 
I, a computer? I, yes, there was a computer. And it, it, it's, it's intriguing because I want to know what's on there. What's on there? From because the it, same, from the, it's the old, same from the, guy. Oh, wow. And they also sold his Jeep. And I told her, if they had the logo on it, I'd buy it. <laughs> <laughs> if they had the logo of the Muscle Muscle, I would oh, be wow. into it. But yeah, there was a computer. And who knows what was on it. But they sold it. And I said, can you share that information on where it ended up? She said, no. So wow. unfortunately, it ended right there, which happens a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. of course. Like, like, some, you get like so oh, close, you, you're so, so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, if you want her to respect your information as well as he, she does to That's other true. people. Yeah, like, it does. Like, yes. you wouldn't want, and like, she's sharing your information to somebody else, like me, like, hey, who else got this one? Like, a lot of people do that. A lot of people, especially when you, like, you know, as someone who's private and you try to ask questions, because you, you have to follow each lead. Mm-hmm. to find these yeah, items that's, that's what the hunting that's what you're talking that, about yeah, that, that, that's what I that's the part of collecting that makes me collect mm-hmm. so I don't have I have boxes upon boxes I don't have it displayed like this uh-huh. <laughs> you know I, I have a box in the boxes and sometimes I forget what I have yeah. and I really do forget because but then again when I look at that piece I remember the story behind it Man. what how did I how did I end up getting this piece yeah you know what what did I do what, who which <laughs> collectors that i meet i met collectors doing that that sold me things that were not what i was looking for mm-hmm. so yeah so so being a private collector which you kind of said a little earlier so when you're a private collector does that get you in automatically with another private collector so y'all can make yes. transactions yes so that being said if you're an open collector it's a little harder for you to try to do a transaction with the private collector? Do you believe in that? No, if you, if you do, if you dig deep enough, you will find it or they will find you. They will find you. I, yeah. think that, that's, I that's, mean, that's how I found you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I think that's that's the beauty of, and I think that's where probably the, the and. Okay, well, hold on. But but that's you. I, I'm pretty sure there's people that are a lot more private than you are. There are. There. And, there and are. That, that, so the Leo Faker that I, that I received, that, that came from a private collector, from a different private collector. Yeah. So that, he, he said, he wouldn't sold it to anybody else but me. Mm. So that that's how I obtained it from the guy that the second private collector, and I was like, okay, well, he goes, yeah, because it took me years to try to get this piece from him. Mm-hmm. He didn't want to give it to me, but you know, eventually, you know, he, he said, gave. yeah, he gave, gave. he caved in, but he said, okay, you're the only guy that I'm gonna sell it to, and and that's how it came about. So that's why I, I'm thinking, you know, there's some. I think if you're a private collector, there there's some there's some pros to that because you get if. So we we talked about this, you know. Yuli has an, a vast collection, yeah. right? But then there's there's quantity, or if you want to say ra- rarity, yeah, rarity. I say quality. No, no, no. It's rarity because I mean you got some high end pieces, but what I'm saying rarity is is we're mm-hmm. talking about pieces that probably only seen once or twice, and you and if anything you've seen it behind the screen, right? Yeah. So you know that that's what I'm getting at is. I know, I know. There's private collectors out there. I, I've gotten some pictures before of collections, and like, I'm just in awe. Yeah. And that's what intrigues me a lot. Like, what is out there? Yeah, that we're missing. Well, like, because in your case, for why you tell me like you have stuff like yeah, that man, will you just you blow just blew my mind. With you just told yeah. me a little while ago, <laughs> just, like, just ah, a couple like pieces. Like, and then, and, and the reason why you contact me, contact me, it was because you probably I don't know if you already followed me before. But you told me, oh, don't tell me you bought this muscle mutt. Yes, and th- it's funny how you came to my mind. It's mm. it's it, your logo. My, my, yeah, my your logo. logo. I said, hold on, this guy just bought. As, I I remember you now that I remember you said that. I do remember you buying that gutter because I said, okay, he just bought one of these in one of these you know that was listed. So he might have bought this because he's actively in this line, mm-hmm. and that's when I found out. And then you were asking me for I don't know if you have the Y shot, and I don't know if that uh. That'll be probably gutter or, or red knuckles. Which one? The, the one like the bronzer, I'm right? gonna say that's bronzer. That's bronzer, bronzer right? I'm gonna so say that's bronzer. Like bronzer. I have yeah. the bronzer and you have that prototype, that's which this is this right one. Here. That's yeah. a beautiful piece. Right here. So you got the prototype. Yes. And then I got the original sketch. Yes. You reached out to me because you were like, "Hey, can I get the sketch?" I'm like, "I'm like, no, I just got the sketch." <laughs> yeah. Can I? Get, and then you told me, "Let's go, oh, I got the prototype." I'm like, "Can I got the prototype from you?" <laughs> like, like, you know, that that's how you that we came about. And then, and then it was a funny story because you told me, "Oh man, this is the second time you win you 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 win a, a pri- like a, like a piece over me because you were looking also for the for the brontosaurus." 
Yeah. The, yes. And, yes. The the one from Dallas Winter Dallas Story. Dallas Winter Story. Exactly. Told, oh, oh, this is the second yes. time you 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 win a a, a piece of ruby. Like, oh man, I'm sorry, brother. And then you just told me like, oh, and I'm trying to contact Ariel mm -hmm. to get the Sam. And I was like, oh man, sorry, this is gonna be the <laughs> third piece that I get from you because I already I had already traded that that with Ariel by yeah. that time. And but okay, uh, question. How did how did it feel? Let's you know. Let's be honest. How how did you feel when you found out? Because a lot of people wanted. Everybody was at the Ariel for that sound. For the sound. Yeah. So how how did you feel when when you found out that he actually finally traded it to somebody? Oh, I had mixed feelings to be honest with you because it's one of the things I was there when I first sold, and I missed it because it was listed not in on on eBay America, mm. but eBay Australia. Mm. So I I missed out on that. Okay. I, I you know I, I you know and when I missed like I try to contact him but one of one of the hard parts of becoming a pirate collector if someone doesn't know you and you don't post yeah they're not gonna respond yeah because because, you know, know, pros it, it makes like it, yeah, it, it makes it harder like you know because I'm pretty sure there's some items that Ariel will want from me oh but he's yeah. never contacted me and he's never responded but you know that's you know because, yeah, you, 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 you're you're Kevin with a private account. With no post, all we know is Kevin from looks, Ohio. It, it, looks, Ohio it, looks, right? it looks like like a bot. Yeah. But your your account yeah. is like perfectly like it could be like. And like, there's a lot of there's a lot of private collectors like that. And, yeah. and when you when you mentioned, you know, when one private collector another private collector, because it's like an honor amongst you know the, yes. the private collectors. So it, it's it's like to me it, it's like a society if you want to say for yeah. private collectors. Yeah. Is yeah. if you're a private collector. I mean, yeah, you have your pros and cons, but honestly, I'd rather be a private collector because, man, they have some rare pieces that... Those, uh, those yeah. yeah. Put everything, box everything of you, Lee. Let's, let's I'm, I'm a private, private collector, man. I don't think... You know, <laughs> like, there's like... And we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that, right? But but for me, like, I can't... I can't... I, I just can't, like... I can't get a piece and then just... Uh, put it up. Yeah, I remember I you said that. I cannot just not put it up. Like, I have to, like, for some reason. And not no, it's not because trying to show off... It might. It's hard to say. It's not because of that. It might be some of that. Maybe I don't know if she's show off. I don't know if it is to 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 get um approval. I don't know if there's any of that. I I know the reason why I started my account, and that's one hundred percent percent uh true. I started because I have such a bad memory mm -hmm. that I wanted to make like a like a like a. Bitakura, or like a, like a like a log, or how do you use that? Like a a log. Yeah, like, uh, like, like, a, like, like something that I can remember, like, like, like a checklist, something, something. like that, or a diary, like a timeline, a, 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 a diary, or, diary or whatever, like that, like a journal, just a journal, just yeah, 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 yeah like a log. Screen. So I, I wanted to, to, and I, I never shared it with my, with my media family, like never. I was just like, just put it, and people start, started following me. Like it was yeah. just, just like that. I, di I didn't ask for, for any of that, and now I just become more like I want to share with the people that, that follow me people people reach out to me hey it's a nice thank you I've, I I don't think I will ever buy a figure for that like that but I love seeing your real I love seeing it in your collection I love seeing it. and that kind of like also pushes me a little bit All right, it's cool to, to whenever you see a and a lot of people take it the wrong way like oh you're showing off I'm like if you want to see it like that that's fine but for me if how, I, would, a, how would a private collector see it as I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you and there's no right or wrong way to collect which is what i'm trying to, you. you know that's that's Thank that's you. what i'm trying to say. so you can be you know what you consider rare he might not consider rare mm -hmm. you know or what you consider grill he might not uh, i mean if, even has, the value on it here's the thing one one my biggest line you guys never asked what line do i cherish the most uh -huh. that's one question i didn't get from you guys not yet well, not yet i guess yeah. yeah i guess now yes <laughs> and that what would be a lot of people overlook it and that's the extreme dinosaur line the extreme dinosaur okay yeah that's the extreme dinosaur lines so most people overlook these i think they're you know the you know the best things in the world and the story behind that is that was the last figure that my dad bought me before he passed oh, wow. away uh -huh. so there's a little bit of yeah. you know, thing to me mm. brother. so i cherish that and so is it valuable to me it is of course. you know but someone else no so there is no right way of collecting or wrong way of collecting whether you like to open you know some people discuss prices all the time and for me personally, I think if you discuss prices, you lose a little bit of, you know, the, the, mm. the, the collecting aspect of it. Because you're not doing it for mm. collecting. You're doing it for, you know. Investment. For investment. And there's nothing wrong with that. 
There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But I think, I think you everything know. you're saying is we always talked about you that. Have to, yeah, yeah you, always have to, you have yeah. to talk about prices at the end of the day because whether you do it for for reselling or to look, you, you don't want to over, overpay. And, and even if you think you're you're paying like fair or not, mm-hmm. other people might think that you're overpaying. Sometimes I overpay because I, I want the piece. And this, I don't know if I've overpaid for this. I think it's kind of like fair, but... I don't think I've ever, and I'm talking about the transaction we just did. Yeah. I've never purchased anything this big. So I'm not saying that I overpaid or it was too expensive or it's not worth it, uh-huh. but I've never purchased anything this big. So I was like, it was a big decision moment for me. Okay. So my people will disagree. My people agree with me on the price, which I'm not going to share. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but, but it's, it's, it's part of the of the whole thing right so part of the whole collecting whether you're private or like you even if even if i'm not looking at selling it at some point i still want to discuss the price with somebody else like do you think this is fair the thing how much will you go because you don't want to over overpay for something right what is overpay what dictates the price of something because that, that's, that, 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 that's, that's a good exactly, question no but that's exactly what we say because a lot of the times like for it, open auctions whatnot's a good example some people yeah. say i wouldn't pay that well the person paid what he thought is worth yeah so if he that's thought what he was worth it, then that's what it is well somebody's willing now, to pay now people could talk about the market which which a lot of us myself included we look at the market as well and we do want to see where the market at, is at Mm-hmm. But then there's always going to be one that's going to sell a lot lower than, oh, man, he got a good deal on it. Or they're going to be one that went a little higher than what, you know, the, the normal number should be. Oh, that, that guy paid too much. I mean, I, like I said, just like Yuli said, I, I, I've been as guilty as charged of overpaying for some pieces. But at the end of the day, like like you said, I don't feel like I overpay because the piece that I really want. If you like it, you're not yeah, overpaying. Exactly. <laughs> if exactly. you like it, you're not mm-hmm. overpaying. And, th- that and that's the reason why it doesn't hurt so much because... Now, if, if I'm doing it to for my store, then I'd be like, "Oh no, I can't do that." It was just well, just, that's the yeah. that's the business aspect of it. That's and, not the collecting. But, aspect. but, but, you so see, but the, it yeah. was it was a perfect example earlier when we were like, "Sorry, we just we were just closing the deal yeah. and all that earlier, right?" Uh, and do you even ask me like, "Oh, but you're sure?" I'm like, dude, I was sure the moment that I see Jez. Yeah. Like, I still want to ask, though. You and know, I appreciate that. that. That's, you know, I appreciate that. There's people that might, you know, has they also want trying to pull a leg, like, yeah. like last minute, ah, can you, whatever. I, I, and then what I told, like, it's a lot of money. It is a lot of money, but I stopped looking at that money on my account the moment I said yes. Like, that you money, already had, you I already, already, I already made my, my piece. Yes. I already, like, I don't have that money. That's not mine. I, I, it just, you yeah. know, it was just a matter of time. So, and, and <laughs> I like what you say. Like, oh, I respect that. I'm like, yeah, because I'm not. I already made my peace with it, yeah. and, and, and I'm happy with it. A lot of people might have said it's a lot of money. A lot of people were like, oh, but to me, like, oh, yeah. I don't care. It's it just, it is. To me, it's it's worth. You enjoy it's, it. Yeah, you like that. You know, my brother, he collects as well. Okay, but he he's not really like a true collector. He just collects like old, you know, things that he had as a kid. And he collects no more than twenty dollars, thirty dollars. So if you spend anything more than twenty, thirty dollars on a piece, <laughs> that's overpaying for him. For him, yeah. For him. And but he, he's still a collector at the end of the day. Yeah. He's still a collector, yeah. and there's nothing wrong with that. Exactly. You know, like it's, everyone has a preference, and there's no right and wrong way. That's what all it comes down to. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, and that, that we preach that all the time. I mean, like I said, people could be PVC collectors. We, we don't. Yeah. It, I mean, there's some. You know, it's just what it is. I mean, let's let's let me ask you this, and then let's see what. What we're missing by you being a private collector? What will be? I want to say top pieces, and you can put them as whether rare, expensive, mm-hmm. or dear, dear to your heart. I don't know. Like, how how you have how, holy grails? How would you? How would first of all before? Okay, I have so <laughs> many questions. All right. First of all, what would you be your top pieces and why? Like, let's say top three. Or top, top five three pieces and what are you talking about? In your Mines whole, or? Uh, no, your collection. Like it can be. I want to see how you rank them because of ready, because of dirt to your heart, yeah. because of expensive. Like what would you be your top three, regardless of the, regardless of value, of value or whatever. Like what what is your top three in my and, collection and your collection and why? One of the, the I think the top the number one piece would be the evil hacks, evil Drax. Evil Hacks, yeah, of the Extreme Dinosaurs line. And that's because that was the last, like I said, that was the last piece mm-hmm. that I got. I, I, that's, that's, that, that, that's, that's, that's the top. Is that, yeah, yeah. And what is that? I mean, it's a loose figure. Yeah. And it's missing one of the, I still have it. 
is missing one of the you know one of the accessories mm -hmm. and i value that more than anything and i have i told you this is before i have a sealed ghostbusters command you know i mean like you know <laughs> filmation ghostbusters so i value that more and that, that's being you know that's being honest I, for example yeah. mm -hmm. what would you value a defiant a gi joe defiant you you know what would you define like oh, what man. would you say Sealed? Like a sealed, I would say honestly with the concern, I would say a no less than an eighty score. Oh, man, those 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 are up there. <laughs> they're, they're up there, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Like, like I don't the... look at it that way. I look at it in a way that I mean, there, there's that aspect of it too. Because some of the things you have, like hey, this is rare. You know, I never had one of those as a child. Mm -hmm. I never had one. I think a lot of us are on the you, same boat. You, as yeah. You. So like, I never had one as a child. I only ended up getting it because I wanted the the U.S. flag. I had a section of it as a child. <laughs> Not the whole thing, but a section of it. So I bought that and I had to buy the entire collection. Okay. Hmm. So, you know, that should tell you a lot what I value. I value the collecting aspect more than the actual monetary value. And that is important, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because obviously, you know, you got to set limits, you know. You, you, everyone has a different definition of what is overpay. Yes. That's yeah. what we call it tiers or we call it levels. That's what we always, we, yeah. we, we, we mm -hmm. mentioned that before. You have your tiers of, of collecting. Like you, like you said, your brother, your brother's uh. If he pays over thirty bucks, he's considered that's overpaying, yes. or or that's too much. So, I mean, we all, I mean, if if we're responsible, we understand where our limits are, and we don't. Yeah. Then we talked about addiction. We talked about. I mean, we talked we about, talked all about kinds all of things. Yeah. yeah, is addiction bad? Addiction is not, <laughs> it's not bad all the time. You, you, watch, you watch that episode? <laughs> I, I watched that. I watched that. I oh, watched. my God. Yeah. And, and uh, finally, he admitted to one point, mm -hmm. and he said, yes, can, can, can admit. He, he uh, said, yeah. I won't admit that. Yeah, yeah, just like he won't admit he's a reseller. But, you know, that's a whole different story. Um, but Hold yeah. on, you said he's a reseller? Yeah, he's a reseller. I don't think he's a reseller. Thank you. Because, Thank let me, you. Let me, let me, hold, on, hold 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 on, Kevin. Please, answer that. Kevin, no, no, I want you to answer that. Say it in the mic. My my definition no, is that, the uh, hold on, my definition are. of a reseller is whenever you buy one figure with the intention okay. to resell, and I did once in the whole process of but, selling. But everything. does that make him a reseller? He's a reseller. So, He's I'm just sorry. going. What, to what, 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 when you say reseller, what did you do with the? I mean, are you, is that like a business or are you talking about just one transaction? Yeah, he's considered a reseller. Yeah, he did. That, 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 that doesn't work. You see that? Yeah. And, 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 and so he Thank said, "I like you, this." Kevin. Thank so I'm gonna do it again. Thank you, Kevin. Nah, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. I, 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 I sold some of my doubles, but that no, no, I didn't no, no, buy no. them we're to resell We're talking them. about other things. Anyway. Okay. All right, so anyways, yeah, let's, yeah, let's yeah. not get into that right now. Just, <laughs> we, have, we, have, we have a short time with Kevin. All right. Um, so what would we say, like, if you put the, the sentimental value aside? Okay. Because that's what a lot of people, uh, uh, that's probably, like, you know, our top tier right now. Yeah. But let's put it aside to... to, to for the people that is watching, like, what will be your top three items that you man, said? That, that piece you told me better be one of them. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> oh, it's man. Top five. Man. Without, he's, without, got, he's got a lot without of. Uh, without sentimental. Without yeah. sentimental. Like, let's say, like, maybe You're price or, like or rarity. Price right. or rarity. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, I don't collect Star Wars. But if you notice a trend, that if you ever notice a trend, what I collect, I like to collect rare stuff from overseas. Because mm -hmm. the way that they treated those toys overseas is not how they did it here. You're gonna hear stories about people here. Hey, my, you know, I went to my, you know, my grandma's house. She had all my toys ready in a, in a box. Over there is not the same story. Mm -hmm. So I don't have, you know, I don't collect Star Wars, but I ended up with some of those uh, Uze or Uze. whatever you call oh them. I have two carded ones. I have the C3O <laughs> and a oh Stormtrooper. <laughs> okay, the blue one. The, no, 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 uh, no. Uh, I have the blue one loose. The the the, the Carter ones I heard there's 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 probably like maybe I'm gonna like put, you have the blue one. I'm gonna have become a complete. private collector, I have a guys. All right. Yes, I have a... the complete. So you com will it, will complete with the, the blaster the blue, with the gun, the, the blue he, I, Yes. You know how hard it is to get that I, damn I, gun. I do, and they, like I said, my wife, you know where my wife is from. Oh my gosh. That's where I and that's where those toys came out. So <laughs> I like overseas and you know how how many I didn't know that. Like oh my god. What, and you know one thing I never showed you like dino saucers. Mm -hmm. That's one of my I, I love that I watched the kid like crazy when I was a kid. My grandma got me one of those without a tail when I was a kid. I thought it was a bootleg because I've never seen that toy, mm -hmm. and it was at a, you know at a garage sale. So you know, I think those are probably up there too. From I do Brazil. have three sealed ones. Three sealed ones. Damn. Yes, I ha I know where that fourth one is, and you know where that fourth one is, but. Is that, the, is that the one we talked about? Yeah, but the thing is that he's, mm. he's asking a yeah, little bit way to, too much. Like, I, I think he's... It's graded 80, right? Or something like that? It, yeah, it's the only graded one. But the mm, thing is, I'm, I'll, show you, I'll send you a picture of mine. Yeah. And you can see what they'll oh. grade the same. They'll grade the same. Nice. But yeah. I, yeah, but he wasn't, you know, that 
I, I like those and um it's hard you know I, did you just mention the god's command sealed, sealed like I, from see, the see, filmations but, yeah and you're, you're not even it's putting what, it up there it, man. what else do you have it's yeah. in a box huh it's in a box but you know, that's it's what even like. more rare see you, you guys the, value you, it more than i do my my thing is trying to find it We'll try to find one that. We'll, we'll try to find one <laughs> that, like that. That's, that's, see, that's that's not why I collect though. My collect is to hunt them down. That's where I. That's where I get the the uh, thrill, the thrill, the pleasure of collecting from. You know, it's it's the actual to hunt. find it. To yeah, find it's, it. It's, it's always so satisfying when you find yeah. that last missing piece to to. But to, to try it, it, yeah. the way that you talk, the way that you like, we were talking even before, you know, mm -hmm. off cameras. Like the way that oh I, like you look you sound like a true detective detective FBI yeah. CIA well, like I'm yeah. like like go track that and then like you well I, I've mentioned to you guys I you know I practiced law for two years mm -hmm. so that has a lot to do with it mm -hmm. you know what I mean so that that's that's a huge part of my you're always trying to find loopholes if you know don't trust lawyers by the don't way don't trust lawyers <laughs> by the way I, oh I, I stopped God. that years ago but yeah so I no, that that still stuck with me that's why I became a lawyer too so. Mm -hmm. Is because I love that detective work. I okay. love, you know, that, that I get the thrill of trying to, you know, find pieces to get like National Treasure, that, that movie. I'm pretty sure you guys seen that. Yeah, National, yeah. it's a nice little movie. I, I, I like that movie when you, you know, putting pieces together and finding yeah. that piece. Dude, definitely. Yeah, like you know puzzle. how difficult it is to find a piece overseas. <laughs> that is one of the most difficult. And I like that. All right, let me ask you now. This, this is, what will be the harder piece to track down? from your collection and or how far have you gone to to get that piece like see here's the thing when you collect you have to set boundaries i don't care what level oh sorry. No, sorry i don't care what level you're on you have to set boundaries like you have to say you know you don't want like you know you say overpay everyone has what they consider overpay mm -hmm. i want that graded dinosaur mm -hmm. but i'm not going to pay what he wants for it and we negotiated and we're off by no no lie Five hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. We're off by that much, and I'm not caving. And I want that piece. Yeah. Because mm. besides that, I would be missing one, and that's one line I really want to complete. Yeah. That's one I want. I, I have a thing for dinosaurs. If you guys know, mm. you know, when I was talking to you about, I love the line. So, time. so, yeah. so five hundred. But I'm, I'm good without the box. Five hundred will make or break it. Well, no, I mean, no there's one. some pieces out there, and here's the thing: if you understand how rare that that that, that piece is. No, no, we know. You know how, you know, the, like, the, that's what, the, that's the what box is rarer. Rare. That is, so that's is more saying, rare yeah. than... 500 will actually and make or break that deal for you? It will, Depending yes. how it high will. you are already. It will. It will. Because you have to set boundaries. You have to set limits. Man, I don't know. You have to that, set, that's it's difficult, but if you don't, yeah. you, you're going to like... You're gonna mm. fall in the trap. What you consider you overpaid for something? Well, well and you have to be I mean, comfortable because well, you're not happy with it. That's why I asked you when and we were making a transaction. Like, are you comfortable but, with but it? But it, that's one. That's once once we got to an agreement. But like, of course, we started like you wanted, you know, more. I wanted less. Yeah, yeah. You know, we had and then the ones we came to an agreement. I was like, all right, I'm happy with it. Like, I, it might be more than what I wanted because you know, you know yeah. the price that I wanted to yeah. pay, and then you thought it was low. I, I know the price you wanted. I thought it was high. Remember the original pay price? I said I'm not letting it less than six figures. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not letting it less than six figures. No, no, no. Yeah. So no, absolutely. But but we were like, all right. So let's meet in the middle. Once we agreed, I was like, all right, I'm happy with it. So, so whether regardless any anybody else, because I did have to, you know, tell a couple of friends, you know, how much to kind of like bounce ideas, you know. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I don't, I'm not telling everybody, but I, I had to consult with people that that know, you know, Carlos, people like Carlos, yeah, a couple, yeah. couple of other friends, like, what do you think? Bounce ideas. It, it was literally three people. One of them told me that you're crazy. The Carlos said you're good. The other one said if you're happy, like, like, yeah. And even the one that says you're crazy, I'm like. I, but, I, but I'm, I'm good. I'm comfortable with it. Like, yeah. but, but that's what I told you, Lee. I told you, look, brother, at the end of the day, if you're ultimately happy, that's all that matters. Yeah. Just go no, for it. That's, that, that was the that's, last thing we talked about. No. Like, we talked about, like, okay, what if we do this? What if we do this? And, like, yeah, I'll go, oh, that's good, man. Like, you can. I mean, possibly you can. You can, you can, you can. But at the end of the day, if you're happy, that's all that do no, it, man. But, but yeah. my question wasn't referred to the prize. So when I said how far down you've gone to get a piece is not necessarily for the price r price point like have you had to travel somewhere to get the piece have you like how hard or how long has it taken to to track down a certain piece that's what i mean like how how far have you gone so, i mean to there's there i've gone 
you know, I've gone to countries. I, I, I've traveled to other countries to look for a piece. Okay, that's far. But another with thing a, is with, already with a lead or just with, with the, the no 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 <laughs> with, of course, blessing the lead. Of, of course, <laughs> with you know, the blessing go, of your God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, with a lead, with a lead, and. I mean, another example would be, you know, whenever you reveal your purchase, you know, whenever you feel comfortable, you know, the pre person that was responsible for these lines are deceased. And mm -hmm. I was able to track down the significant other of the person as well as the kids. And what did I do? I just wrote a very friendly letter and I sent it to them and I got a response. I got a response. See, okay. So, so I got a response and that's pertaining to... The line, you know, the the, the, the line, that line. Mm -hmm. the, you know, the surprise line. Let's yeah. just call it the surprise line. It's, and they said, unfortunately, you know, we, we, we never dealt with that side of things. You know, so that's, that's, I mean, some people won't do that. Mm -hmm. Some people won't, yeah, well, they, you know, they, you're they, not going to contact. But how bad do you want it? Like you, this person has been deceased for some time. And you were able to track down family members. And because the way you can track them down is who owns the rights. Hmm. If you track that down. And it goes back to the lawyer. Aspect. No, no, that's what I'm saying. I yeah. don't even think about yeah, that. Yeah, you, you, you track down who owns the right. You, that's the number one thing. Who can send you a cease and desist? Mm -hmm. Whoever that person is, is the person you want to try to contact if you're looking for a very rare item. Okay. Okay, once you get to that point, you know, you might... Kevin, might, I think you're saying too much. You can tell us no, behind, no, no. behind... No, you can tell us this behind... behind yeah, uh, you know, you know, no, he's getting no, everybody their secrets. He's getting everybody their secrets. Just shut up. <laughs> let, him, let, him, let him talk. Let him talk. No, but you have to think outside the box. Yeah, yeah. You no. have to think outside the box. That's the biggest thing. Okay. And being able to go distances... A lot of people are not that dedicated to find that piece. How far would you go? How far would you go for a piece that you want? I'll probably just stay there for Well, Munich. I know how far you would go. <laughs> I'll probably just stay, take no, it No, but, but I could go far, but I, the, I, I haven't gone the length and extent that, that you've yeah. gone. So that's for sure. So That's what I'm saying. So when you're talking about cease and desist, all, all that stuff, man, like, that's really thinking outside the box. Yeah, you, I mean, that's and, how you want to find saying, those like, pieces, yeah, well, You try to track things down. You do try to get some leads, but... yeah. When it gets to that certain extent, then then you know, okay, there's there's levels to when it comes to hunting well, as well. Yeah, to hunt it, to hunt it. Yeah, yeah there's yeah. levels and, to hunting as to well. To be honest with you, there are people out there that I, I don't even know. Like you know, like there's there's a lot. Like you said, you've know a part of collectors. There's a lot of them out there, and the way they they think, a lot of think is like, I know who I need to know. Mm -hmm. You know, so and the pieces that I I've gone to those lengths because I am serious about it. I know where this piece is, and I've contacted this individual. And we made it, you know, we, we, we came to an agreement that if he ever decides to sell, that he would at least, you know, come to me. You made me swear if I ever sold, sold the sound. At least, at least yeah, or, give me an option. Yes. <laughs> give me yeah. an option. To, yeah. And, and yeah. I told him, hey, man, if you ever, same thing. Uh, honestly, you surprised me. Like, okay, the, the, the line that we're talking about, I'm pretty sure the people know is the muscle mods. Right? Mm -hmm. we, we did a, a big transaction about with muscle mods. Uh, but but yeah, yeah, you totally took me by surprise when you said that you probably you know there was an option to buy. Yeah, I thought you were joking. I wouldn't do that to you, man. That, that, that's messed up. That's but, messed up. Yeah. I, I, you never know. You, 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 never you, know. I mean, when I was late a little bit today, I mean, you probably thought I'm not even coming, right? <laughs> no, no, no. Cross your mind. He crossed, he crossed my, my mind until like the 1%. gas station picture. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because he he was like he was like oh I, I arrived to Houston at ten a.m. ten ten thirty a.m. Yeah. Like ah he'll be here by noon noon, and then yeah. like noon and like two and then three and then four. He was like, just looking outside the window. Was like, yeah, just looking at the curtain, <laughs> just trying to figure out like where's he at. <laughs> no, but I understand, especially with the Astros game yeah, and all you, that. You you went exactly where the the the, well, the thing like the, the hornet's the rental car broke down. The That's the part yeah. that the I was car telling. Broke down the and car, then, like it just went up in smoke. I opened the look and I see like the radiator hose. Oh, I was in, I was in that for a couple of hours in this heat. Was and that the, telling you that is this a sign? Were you thinking about <laughs> that? I, there were so many signs coming here saying do not do this transaction. <laughs> do, not, <laughs> do not do it. But um, it was so like you said, it was it was so dead. You know, I, I stick with my word. You know, I'm a man yeah, of my word. So okay. that's, it's that's all it is. It. I mean, honestly, when it comes to sticking to your word, I think that's why Yuli was like, yeah, when 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 I agreed yeah. to it that day, not today, which was a few weeks back, whenever y'all, it's a done deal. I and mean, you can tell who's a serious collector by yeah. the, by their actions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and so no, the, the, I appreciate I appreciate that you you thought of you thought of me when when this you know I mean I'm a collector I think of collecting so like you know I, I, I wanted to go to collector like I mentioned to Carlos I wanted to go to someone who likes the line and you know you already have some of the pieces you know that that's I would rather end up that 
You know? and, and we t- we talked about that, Kevin, because we we mentioned that too. That sometimes, even when it comes to trading, yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, Ariel could have gave that Sam to anybody. Yeah. anybody. He, yeah. he pretty much had everybody, you know, in, in the palm of their yeah. hand, saying, "Who who wants it?" But you know, he seems that that Yuli was getting serious about it, so he's you know, and there's, there's a friendship there, the yeah. kinship, you know, and when you start learning, you know, knowing people more and more, and understanding them, and seeing how man, I, I, a lot of respects for you, man. How, how outside the box when it comes to hunting on yeah. your end i never heard of that honestly i never heard somebody well, people crazier than me but there. That, that's just that's just you know it opens it opens your mind to another aspect of of collecting yeah if you want to put it that way yeah you know and this is like this is me talking as a collector not as, as a reseller if you want to say yeah. that because when it comes to reselling it's a whole different i mean that's a whole mindset that's a different yeah. mindset you're doing that for yeah. you know you can't sustain that if you have the same mentality for collecting exactly as that. yeah it's it, not gonna it, work it'd be tough yeah, it'd be really tough. Uh, so uh, it, it, it's crazy. It's crazy. How do you do? You ever see yourself, or you ever, you know, think or grasp the possibility or the idea of becoming a, like an open collector? Or some like to start like probably if sharing. If I do it, I'll come back to this podcast. I'll come back here and I reveal myself. And then, and then you bring your pieces, bring your rarest pieces Fish. to. Carlos already Carlos already trying to get some pieces from <laughs> Oh man he told me about he, these Carlos thought he was selling his whole collection. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, like, no, oh, no, but no. I got this. So what what other piece you had that Carlos wants? Uh which you one? want is that okay you share that? You talking about the I mean do you want to know? I, I, mean, I, I, I think everybody knows cuz I've talked and and Yulia told me that that we you know we make pets ourselves yeah. because we're, we're we're high in collectors as well and we have our niches already. Yeah. We, we have what we what we're looking for. And of course, I always said the Leo Faker was one of my pieces that, one of my all-time pieces that I want to get. Mm. And so that that was one of the and one then, of the pieces. And then it. he casually were like off camera, like, "Oh yeah, I have yeah, a, like I, nothing like a, oh, a, it's oh, really? like a smoke, right?" But um, you know what? I would value more than that. I would, I would, I personally would consider a fair trade for that. What is that? What is that? Would probably be the Leo Skeletor, but with the pink accessories MOC. Okay, and I, and I, my mine was the, it was a black with the black or well, the you dark the, gray. You want the dark gray one? No. Well, okay, you talking about say that again? The the Skeletor. Mm-hmm. You know how he has different color accessories. Yeah, yes. Well, I think the the pink accessories come with the light blue, right? I think it's the yeah. light blue. I had the dark blue. What that that yeah, was that's my the favorite. one I had. Yeah, the dark blue. The dark but mine blue. was on the newer card. There's two different cards to that. Yeah, I think they, one they was the a blue later one. release. They had yeah, the blue and then they had the red back. I had the red back. But he had the dark, the dark gray. Um, okay, that's what you had. Yeah, okay, that's what okay. I had. Yeah. yeah, I think I said that's what I would consider trade. If you want no. that, find that piece for me. Nope. <laughs> because I, like I said I grew up with yeah. uh, Skeletor. You know, I had Skeletor. Oh, and no, I, had Skeletor a, I mean, Skeletor and Faker are my favorites. And I never had a flake Faker when I was a kid. I had I, like, yeah. a tongue lasher, which nobody really likes. <laughs> I, I told you, Lee, <laughs> the only thing that, that scares me about those is, I've, and I've seen because I've seen it happen, and yeah. it happens to GI Joes as well. You know, the the you know, of course, the, time the, yeah. the laying back could pop. And you have this piece that you know, and and I do look at it as also, you know, when these when they're higher end pieces, I do look at it as man, I could, I spend this much money, I'm, I, I could just stab at a finger, it pops, lo- I, lo- you lo- know, lo- I, lo- what am I gonna do? And me, the way I am when when I'm a collector, I like, I like my stuff to be pristine, I like my stuff, That's you know, you where I could just yeah. send it off to get graded, you know, yeah. and that you know, loose or 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 mocks, I it just it drives me wild. I I can't have something that if it has a spot, I have to like wash it off with with warm water and, and soap i i just have to do that and i do even with the toys the, the the toys that i sell in my store so i mean i would be it, it would it would hurt me so much if one day i just come and that leo faker was just the legs just fell just off pop. It, it's it's, 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 it's hard for me to think like he wants it so bad but at the same time he doesn't or i, I don't i really under- want what the the Leo Faker mock yeah, no, because you no, want it but then no, you wouldn't be sleeping so right a yeah. mock a mock me personally I rather prefer a loose but if if a mock comes along why not you yeah. know but if a loose one complete nice condition where I can send it to get graded I'll I'll get it loose grade because you can always break it open yeah. if something were to happen but yeah. a mock I mean no I, I I've <laughs> torn out some some undercover turtles yes I have done that off card you know good cards but. A Motu, uh, I, I don't think I have the balls to do that. 
can't do that. Not, not one of those. No, can't, not that. a moat to me. Yeah. And so I respect, you have to me. I respect Le- turtles. You I- have a Leo Faker mug. You have a Ghost Command seal. Like a Uzi. You, you have got the Uzi a, with the gun. A, 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 defi- a G.I. Joe Defiant no, seal. I, I sold the Defiant. Oh, you sold I it. Sold the, I have the U.S. flag, but though. You, but you, it, you have I don't have flag? a sealed U.S. flag, but it has some discoloration on the box. So I wouldn't say it's a high grade, but it is still still. Man, who cares, man? Like I said, that's what I the piece that I was after with that collection. See, it, when it comes to but when it comes to rarity, honestly, even if you had even if you had some dinosaurs that the box may have had a crease on the it, dinosaurs cares, box, you, you know how hard it is to get. It's just the rarity. That's what I say. Even having the Uze, the blue with the, the gun, Uze. the gun because yeah. they. AFA will even grade it without the gun because that's so hard. That's, that's, that's all right because usually so the, the companies already, yeah. won't grade it without, without if it is not complete. But that particular, they will they will, they grade, will still it. grade it yeah, like that. So, yeah. Even if and it's and incomplete. And from uh, Glasslight from Droids, that one too, they'll, they'll grade it without the pistol so. as well. So well, there's just some pieces that are so rare that the accessory itself it's so rare that they'll grade it without it because they know make it's an exception. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, that, that makes sense because I've seen like those rare items. Like there's an, I think it was a... Uh, RDD2, that's like graded like a real low grade, but you know they still graded it. It's yeah, still, yeah. very no, low grade. grade. Yeah. Well, I mean, I I, I just picked up that that uh, that bumble jumper. Uh huh. Yeah. And, it was it, super it, low. You know, and like I said, it's a grade forty, but it's still still it's, it's still, 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 still is yeah. like. Yeah, but I haven't seen. This is the second one I ever seen carded. Yeah. So rare. You know, and that's like I I told you I'm gonna just pull the trigger, dude. I mean, this is what it is. I mean, when when people grade, you did you grade it? No, no, it was already oh, graded. Oh, yeah. it was already graded. Yeah, it was already graded. Okay. Yeah. I think what that grading does is preserves it. Yeah, from preserves any it. more damage. So that that's the so yeah, and the way that's, that's what we're talking about. And like, the way it's graded, there's, there's some pieces so rare because usually if, if it is a regular piece, they will they will just don't won't grade it, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. They just if it is low grade, like they don't bother yeah. grading it. But there's so rare, so, more, so many rare pieces that ugh. yeah, yeah, it's, it's uh, just worth grading. What will be a, a like a piece? I have couple more like more questions but like <laughs> things that you'll be hunting now right now like like it's just something like you, you will be actively well i know the dinosaurs down. is one of them right the dinosaurs is definitely one of okay them. so just just going back real quick on that jesus love <laughs> just going back yeah. I, I know we talked about overpaying but I, i'm not trying to convince you but I'm, i i know when you said that you're <laughs> trying to, to make limit. a deal right now but no, 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 <laughs> the you, you try, you're trying to have a limit you said you know you want to have a you you don't want it to be where you're paying over market if you want to say that. It's not over market. They really they can't. What's the market? It depends on the demand. So okay. Yeah. So, so so there's no market. So set market. No. Okay, fair enough. But when you say that, it, I would understand if you have to be every, every transaction. But every transaction you make and you're overpaying. If you feel like you're overpaying, then then I think that's a problem. But when this there's just that one that one thing that you want really bad. Mm-hmm. I don't think there's an issue with that. No, but it depends how bad you want it. That's what I'm saying. If you so, want it really bad. So well, I how, really want it. You know, I really want it. But the thing is that there's a limit to how bad I want it. Yeah. So that, you know, it has, it, to, be, it has to be. It ha- you have to. You have to. I don't know. You I have mean, to. I, 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 I've gone over that limit yeah. sometimes. <laughs> not, with the, honestly, not with the, I think we, it, we're like, I was like, my, I'm at fair price at this mm-hmm. point. I was like, I wouldn't have gone any higher, honestly. Yeah. And I told you, and that's, I guess that's why we, we came up to, to what we, where we, you know, fall, fell. But, uh, but there's a few pieces that I've paid. I would more than, than what I should have anyways. Yeah. But, um, but anyways, let him answer. But besides, like, you, you answer for him. <laughs> no, besides no. the dinosaurs, like, is there any active pieces that you've been hunting or anything that... Like with Carlos, I am about condition. Mm-hmm. I am about condition. One of the top things is I want to collect the entire, for example, the extreme dinosaurs. And I know it's overlooked. And you might see you have those pieces. Why are you focused on those? That's because they're near dear to me. Mm-hmm. And I want to get those carded but graded 80 above. Okay, the line. The, the whole, whole line, line okay. including the play sets. Mm. Okay. That most people don't know. So that'll be the one that you mostly active or trying to hunt down. The, the Well, they got dinosaurs. We have that. There's a couple pieces, but for now, I think that's what I'm after. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And do you have Would any you consider I and I, my not- end, my you know just because we made a transaction I told you before doesn't mean that my hunt for this line is over mm. because I enjoy that aspect of it okay. you know what I mean so like I still look around and I try to hunt and if I can find leads I wouldn't mind helping you out <laughs> you know I appreciate it like I, you helped me I find the the the, the well, other the other piece there here's the thing I mentioned to you and I, you said you wouldn't go one cent higher I told you I had an offer from a reseller a reseller. That was higher, but I gave it to you for the sheer fact that you're a collector. 
Mm. Not because I don't view you as no, a reseller. I appreciate, I appreciate mm. that. That's that. That's the only reason that I took that cut. Yeah. You know what I mean? That and I had to travel all the way from all this <laughs> I, I humid, I appreciate, <laughs> this I appreciate humid, that too. hot. I weather. appreciate that too. Yeah. So. Okay. Awesome. So that so extreme dinosaurs. Do you yeah. think like part of being a private collector, like by not telling every, other people, like hey, I'm very open about yeah. it. I don't care, and maybe it'll buy me in the ass later. But to tell to say what I'm after, maybe other people might want to go after that. Okay, but here's well. the thing. It's friendly competition. Like no matter how, we're all, we do all like the same thing. So I don't see my competitor as an enemy. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? It just but, depends who wants it more. But, my, but right? some people might say that it. private collector will be ox. Oh, they don't want to put out their water they're collecting or what they're hunting or what they're after that way they don't attract attention from other to well, that line not to on the line but sometimes people get annoyed like for example you, you showed me a message earlier and i was kind of shocked at how this individual responded mm -hmm. because he has been nothing but nice to you know what i mean yeah. and you know to, so that was, i was kind of caught off guard by that mm -hmm. so it depends. and i showed you like, it was no yeah, line. Yeah, i'm not making yeah. it up no 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 yeah so i, I, I was i was you know i was kind of mm. you know about it so he was confusing me with other people though but but still I, yeah he, he would have he would have told that to that yeah. guy right but anyway. keep in mind though, a lot of people will say hey you know they don't want to be bothered because you know some people like if i think that if you're an open collector like this you do it you you know you do it for a different reason than i would do it for you know what mm -hmm. i mean so you wouldn't mind mm. but if i were to post stuff up i would get you know a lot of contact and i have other things to do yeah <laughs> you know what i mean it's no, not no, that. No, so I my you know my objective so i do this as a hobby You know, so I'm not a reseller. I just do this, and you know, as a hobby, just to, you know, I guess fill that need. To, you know what I mean? There's a little emptiness mm -hmm. that I, you know, I have to fill. You know, keep my. I have an overactive brain. Sometimes yeah. it's hard for me to stay. You know, on. Yeah, you know, yeah, so yeah. I have to keep it busy, mm -hmm. and that keeps me busy. Okay, so, okay. Nice. I have I, I have a question for Kevin. Um, see, uh, you have certain lines that you hold really close to your heart, but on the other lines, you love the the thrill of hunting once yes. you w once you have them is it easier to sell them because you love the hunting more than holding them it, or i only sell it if i find a collector that I, i only sell it to if i find a collector that is looking for it and is a genuine collector of the line mm -hmm. that's th that, that's the number one require uh, like requirement that, to sell uh, yes yeah. because i'm a collector at heart and th 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 mm. that's why i do it. can I, I ask you a question then so uh, let's say me that yeah. i do have a store in it Would you ask me? Let's say I have a, you have a piece that I want. Would okay. you ask me? Hey, be honest with me. You're gonna sell it. You're, you're gonna resell it, or you're gonna collect it. Is that is that? Would that be something uh, you ask? Him I, being no, a reseller. I, him I, being yeah. a reseller. Would you ask him something? Or would you make him like, hey? Would you hesitate? I'm not gonna ask questions, but I will. I I kind you know you kind of gauge what somebody would do if someone because if like for example I got a feeling that you would you know you would do it as a collector. However, mm -hmm. I also feel that Carlos maybe if someone offers you the right price, you would let it go. If no. they offer you for if you know him better, that's he, what I'm saying. No, I don't know, no, but no. from yeah, what yeah. I can he, know, he, he, he but, holds, but there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Like I say, you know, there's no, but the thing is, but if I, like, you know, if I know you a little bit better and I know you're mm -hmm. actually genuinely trying to finish a line or you really want to, I will usually like, shit right on now, Carlos. You're, you're the top <laughs> of my list. I promise you, like, I'll give you my word, you know, you know, on this. That if I decide to let go, you will get first dips. Oh my god! I would keep. I, yeah. you know, I, I would keep hey, my word. I, on I that. would usually shit on Carlos and tell you not to sell it to him. But, <laughs> but to be true, to be t like the way that I know him, when he goes to his PC, he won't budge. He he won't sell. Yeah. And, the reason, shit. and the like, reason being, we all say yeah. everything has a price, and you can say no. But if I would have, somebody would offer 100 k for, and be like. It'd be too dumb not to like everything mm -hmm. has a price yeah. unless it's like something that like your dad but, gave it yeah, to you. But but yeah, but it depends. Yeah, it depends yeah. on how. Yeah, 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 that's what, what, but there's pieces yeah. like if the piece is like worth twenty thousand and they offer you a hundred. I mean, it depends. It depends how 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 much are you invested into that? Like, if there's a figure that I've hunted down and it took me ten years to find. Well, it's you have to put a price on your time. Yeah, it's going to be hard, mm -hmm. you know, because, you yeah. know, these pieces are hard to find. I'm not going to sell it for that price. Mm. Now, you might say, no, if someone put that on the table, you're going to sell it. No, not necessarily. Mm. You know, and mm. you know the reason that we made this transaction. There's only one reason <laughs> or else we would have never made that transaction. Yeah. You know. Can you share it? Do you want to share it? Uh, I think I'll keep that private. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, I know. You know. I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. It's kind of okay, a big deal I, for I've, me. I've so. been trying to try to go around that question because I want like, oh, why do you let go? Da, 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 yeah. But I don't want to get to that point. I know, I know that's a very yeah, private. That's the only reason. But uh, well, let's say, how do you feel about letting this go? 
this collection that you sold to me? Um, I mean, it's going to a good good collection. Thank you. And I don't, I, I don't really see that. you, I don't see you reselling them. I mean, like I said, I don't really see. I mean, if it's your choice, you know what you want to do with it. In the no, York. no, no. But, but, but I, I think you really you do cherish them because some some people will go online. You know, this is the one thing. Like I said, it's not right. Like it's not. I can't judge. But me personally, yeah. One of the things that I dislike is when someone says, "This is hey x x amount of money. I'm gonna buy it." This is excess of money. I'm gonna buy it. That's kind of like you know what? Are you, what are you doing? What What is your point of doing that? And I'm not gonna name any names, but there are there are people that do that. And it, to me, it's like do what do what you want to do. But I, for me, that's yeah. That's that's what, a no -no when they for see me. A, this is when when they see like more of a so of a business side of it, yeah. right? But it, it's gonna it's gonna deter people like myself from ever selling you anything. Mm. Yeah, and, you know and, what and I mean. Honestly, there's there's True a, there's a uh, like I said, there's a kinship because there's there's a few pieces that I have in my PC. Like if if ever I do sell, it's gonna be resold to the guy that that sold it to me because that's well, that's my word to him. He yeah. said if you're ever gonna resell it. Give, give me first give me, dip. Give me that's, first that's what I'm gonna tell you. Yeah, yeah. If you're ever gonna resell it, I'm here. I'll, I'll, I'll buy yeah. back anything. Yeah. yeah, and and so and so those those are the those are the. I guess the bonds and the relationships that you have yeah. with the other people that man you're you're nice enough you're willing to sell because there's guys that I've, I've taken from their PC and they're like man I wasn't going to sell it and, and I told I'll take good care of it I'm not going to resell it he goes if, but he goes if you ever do it if you ever do I'll be your first option because I yeah. and I'll be like mm -hmm. yeah 100 yeah that, 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 that's, that's that, that respect that you have because yeah, 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 if you don't then you know if you don't have that respect then that person's not going to do what any else? business with yeah, you yeah, exactly. they might have something that you want later on because mm -hmm, they had yeah. one thing they're going to have something else yeah. One time we were talking about exactly that, and I remember he said he was being very kind of like shock when when we were talking about like there is collectors that they will choose if they're gonna sell, they will choose who to sell to, or they will have a preference if you're really gonna keep it or if you truly display. Because I I got people contact me, hey, I want to ha I want you to have my collection and there's recently one guy and he contacted me this week mm -hmm. and I'm like look dude I would do one that you're giving me a great price I just have this big purchase right now oh. I, I can't I just give he was like brother I want you to have my collection I'm like I'm so honored by that I'm so blessed mm -hmm. by that and I, I was telling Carlos like, he was like dude that's a good price that's a great price I'm like, and I appreciate that I want it just let me finish off this big yeah. purchase and then I'll, I'll, I'll get that collection from your hands and I'll, I'll be honor yeah to to treasure that in my collection they were like that's all i want i want because i need to, i need to let it go i'll give you a good price but i want you i don't want it to give this price to about anybody i want mm -hmm. it to give you to, to you and he said yes what well, shook about like how like wait money is money why don't you just give like and i'm like there's people that that they really think about that can you expand a little bit on that since you are like more like looking for the right yeah. buyer because the the the, the simple re answer to that is that they see you as a collector mm -hmm. and they themselves are a true collector. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that's as simple as it's it is. It's a love of collecting. It's 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 yeah, it's a love of collecting. They are a serious collector. They don't do it for thrills or whatever, you know, they don't they do it because they love it. They genuinely love it. Mm -hmm. They don't want outside approval, you know saying, you know, or any of that or you know, they don't want they see you and like I said, I see you as a true collector. I appreciate that. That's that mm -hmm. that's why you're getting that. Kevin, <laughs> and go, going a, a little bit deeper appreciate on it. on that, it, do do you feel like that because of preservation of something that uh, was created a long time ago or by just not personal nostalgia? Well, what do you feel about that, about collecting? Both. both? I I I, w I would definitely say both. I I would say preservation and like As a collector, you try to complete your lines, correct? You want to get it as yes. much as you can, you, and that's what a collector is after. And you're giving it to someone who's going to not only cherish it, but also, they ha you know, preserve it. Mm -hmm. Not because it's old. It's, there's a story behind it. Everything that I've ever collected has a story behind it. How did I find it? Who did I contact? What levels I went to? To, to get it to get that and i remember those and you know how you said sometimes you forget mm. i might have i might forget what i have in a box you know in my basement that, that's what, yeah. but if i pull it out you have it just comes back, back to me and says hey mm. i remember how hard how many people i had to contact what did i do mm -hmm. to get this no. who did i have to persuade you know who do you yeah. know no i i have a bad memory but i wouldn't forget like stories like this right so those yeah. are those are the big stories you know i do have stories like for 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 like For the Saint Say, uh, 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 for example, the Saint Say uh, Coliseum, I drove to Dallas to get it. I have stories for the for the Ghost Command. I have the stories for the Muslim yeah. notes. I have the stories for certain pieces. 
but then I have rants on one of buying just click 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 like <laughs> I don't have that much of a story on that, right? So there's like smaller pieces. Yeah. And those are the ones that I sometimes forget. But 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 definitely I do have stories on, on most of the and I think that's where the I feel like we treasure the most on, on the on the collection. The stories attached to the I, I think yeah. the story yeah you are hundred percent right, Julian and Kevin. I mean I think a lot of us that's one thing I I can say we all have something that in that aspect of we have a story. It could be only be one piece but regardless, yeah. there's a story behind it. There's a story of why you're holding on to it, why this, why that, you know. And that's where I am when it comes to collecting as well. I'm a true collector as well. Yeah. I resell. And that's why he knows there's just some pieces I just won't give away. And and there are pieces that some some of you can't find them. But it's just, it took me years to find. Mm-hmm. And, then, and then, of course, me personally, the way I see it is it's preserved and how clean it is to find one. This, you could probably find 10 of them, but... To find one this clean is very hard. I wouldn't just give it away or sell it just for, you know. And, and people have told me, hey, I'll give you this. No, I, I just can't. And There's I, and too I, much to it. There's too much invested yeah. personally in that. Time. Time. Yeah. Time, yeah. time is. Time, time is That's more valuable yeah, than money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. For that. I have yeah. I have one more question I have for, for Kevin. Um, one of the topics that we talk about a lot in this podcast is about people that decide to display or not display their collections. Mm-hmm. You said that you are not displaying your collection. Yeah. Um, what, what What's your take on that? Why don't you do that? You Does look more to story. To, to, to be private or? Yeah. No, it has nothing to do with being private. It's just that, like I said, I, I don't collect to display. I wish th- this is this is amazing. I'm not going to lie. When I walked <laughs> in here, this cave, <laughs> it, it's something that, I, you know, I like, but... I do it for different reasons. Mm-hmm. And that's, like I said, I, I enjoy the hunt. That's literally, that's what I, that's why I, I collect. Yeah. So that's why, but if I, ha, you know, the eventually the I'm going to have a display of some of these items. You know, when you said, you know, it's going to be, let's just say quality over quantity at that time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's no, no, what no, it really comes down to, you know. That, that's, kind of, that, that's kind of where me and you, because yeah. he eye to eye, because I know, I know Yuli says, there, there's no way, because as soon as I get a piece, I have to display it. I've said it before and I said it again. I have a lot of my stuff on so on totes as well as right now. Yeah. Until I'm ready to display, until I'm ready, you know, to put put a lot of it because I, I got to put a lot of emphasis in in the display as well. It's not just yeah. putting a little rack and and you're just, nah, let's get yeah. it done. No, you you want to invest as much in the in the display as you know as as the figures that you have. But it's like I told you, I'm, I'm just wanting to get those pieces that I have on my bucket list. Concentrate in that, and then I'll concentrate in, in the display. That's yeah. where I'm at with with me, but yeah, a lot of my stuff is in totes. Do you have your personal it, collection posted anywhere? I've, I don't think I've seen. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. You just go to the Instagram. I have some stuff there yeah. that, okay. that, that pertains okay. to me too. Yeah, okay. some of that I'm, I'm holding on as well. And there's some things that people don't know, and sometimes he like I don't know you had that. <laughs> I don't even know. Yeah, something like well, where do you get that from? So, uh, and you know, there's guys that that I talk to. They like, I don't even know you. What else do you collect? Do you have? A, uh, but that's just I'm just a big vintage guy. I, I love yeah. vintage. I mean, that's just and. Like you said, there's stuff that I didn't see as as a kid, but Muscle Muts is a perfect example. And I keep saying that I reiterate that that I didn't know anything about Muscle Muts until you leap. I I seen it on on his, on his you know on his thumbnail or his profile pic whatever. Well, yeah. that's cool. But when I seen it in person, automatically it just, I just gravitate around it. Yeah. And like man, that's a cool piece. Like I just never seen them before. Yeah. I didn't know anything about them. And me that I love to investigate. I love to know about figures. You know, anything vintage. And when I see now, like, man, that's that's a hard piece. And then he started showing me that, like, wow, like, that's, <laughs> that's a nice, that's a cool collection, man. That's, the, that's the, cool so. th- the cool thing about this line is you said every time that you know about a new line, you want to start investigating. Yeah, yeah. The fun part about this one is you start go, like googling, and there's not much that, out that's there. That's why you have to think outside the box. But mm-hmm. this that's line, how you have yes. to do it. But it, it, you. Unfortunately, you are going to hit dead ends. Dead, you know, yes, I, I, a I, lot of dead ends uh, on this line. Yeah, a lot of dead ends. Like you know, a lot of people don't think some of these figures exist. Like Sam, or for think example, they're rare, uh, yeah, real. Even the puppets. A lot of people don't know they they they're yeah. out there. And I'm you know I'm going to say that they were used at toy fairs to promote the second series, which mm-hmm. is why the second series is harder to find. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so. I, I, I'm thinking they, they never mass produce it, right? I, I, no, I think they just made a few of them just to show. Yes. They literally just show and to, to get for, yes. these companies. But, but it, you to see, it's take cool it. that, that we don't have a definite, you know, we're just, it's all speculation. It's all speculation. It's all speculation at the end. At the end so of the that, that's cool because it makes you theories, wonder. Though. You you can come, yeah, you can put puzzles together. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, if you look at the puzzles back there, you know, you know, you reach and purchase, you could put this and this together and realize, okay, hold on. He might, because it makes sense for him to do this and do that. You could put the puzzles together, and that's what 
the most, you know, the closest yes. theory. That's the one that we're going to probably yes. spread, probably bit, gonna, but, but we'll yeah. never, like you said, people that created it, just no they're not here, around. no longer no. around. Yeah, and, you know, the people who created it, you know, is the guy who created it, and then the guy who did the line that you know of. They're two different people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You guys know that, right? So, yeah. like, yeah, yeah, there's two different they people. Up, yeah. So, a lot, and you can see the influence. Where you know you can see that if you look at the muscle mass, you can see this three sharks. This three sharks influence. Yeah, yeah. You can see from that's what, and, why and, started and also the extreme dinosaurs. You kind of see. Yeah, that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Same, yeah same. I mean, I got into this because my brother liked my brother liked the street sharks. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I. Yeah, got. Like, it's a lot, of, a lot, of, a lot of dead ends, and even you know Ariel. He traded the the Sam to me, but before that, he it was it was a phrase he did. He he said, "I'm sorry." Uh, we were talking, and, and, and he was like, if you ever find the cats, he said, I'll be willing to trade the sand for, like, with you. And But the phrase he used, was like, because I already gave up. I already gave up on, the, on this because mm -hmm. I like to complete it, and I, I haven't found or a lead or anything. I'm thinking it's uh, it just they're just not out there. He was like, I gave up on the line. And... I didn't find the cats at that time, but I, but I had something else. And I got open, but that to me opened up the option. I'm like, all right, you gave up on it. Let's let just, let's just talk. Let's just it. talk yeah. about it. Yeah. yeah. But but it's just like that. Like you said, like you sometimes, if you're if you like to complete, you're probably gonna hit a lot of dead ends. Yeah. But that's it. Just I don't know. To me, it's the fun about this line. It's what it you know. It just there's a lot of mystery around it. Yeah, a lot of mystery yeah. ar around it. Yeah, and like you know, the way he gave up, I think he should, she should have stuck around because here's the thing that I don't like. Some of the things that I don't understand is some people consider items rarer than others. You know, for example, the infamous Boba Fett prototype. There are how many of those out there? That's what I was talking to. How Carla many there. of them are out there? Like, hey, you know, what I mean, and. There's one on that's being auctioned out at the cur as we speak, or it might I think have it ended. Sold. It might have ended. Yeah, so I, I I'm starting to you know believe some of the things that I've been hearing about that, some of the theories I've been hearing about that because it makes no sense. Why is that valued so high? And that, are those that actual sales? Because that particular one, it's only three in existence because it was the J's lot, the okay. L's lot, like I yeah. think they're like. 30 or something like that on the L's lot. But, okay. but the J's lot is like the, the rarest. And this one had two missiles painted. So and it, 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 it just, was, the, the piece, the, the, complete, the, the whole set with the... With the mm -hmm. But they but, still pop up. When is the time the, you see a cat? Like, yeah, a when do you see... I mean, obviously, Star Wars can't compete with the muscle muscles. That, that's... that's, that's, that's far. Yeah, like that's two, that's two different, yeah, different worlds. So different world, yeah. But y no matter how rare something is, you will find it eventually. That's the one thing that, you know, like someone who hunts them down like I do, you will find them. A lot of people have told me one thing. You will never see a non-open dinosaur. You will not see it. You will not see them. If you, you might see, I mean, there's probably two or three of them in existence. In my personal collection, I have three. And I'll send you pictures later. But yeah, yeah, but, <laughs> yeah but you know, so... <sighs> I don't know what I'm. I don't really know what I'm trying to say. But, no, no, no. You know. But it, it gets crazy when you when you're trying to 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 get to the rarer species yeah. and the, mm -hmm. just the thrill of the hunt. It just uh, to me, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. You unlocked a was it a fear or um it was something like that. You when you yeah. told me a couple of pieces that you have, then you just like you unlock a, a fear on my on my head of like. What what is out there that I don't know that yeah. people keep in secret? But that like, also makes it interesting because but, 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 yeah, I'm like ah, I blew my mind. I'm like <laughs> what? I'm like oh my god! If, if, well, we always talked about private collectors, and we you know all we could do is speculate. But man, I'm I'm telling you, Lee, I mean you. There's private collectors out there that have some stuff that we know. We, but that's, we what, I'm, that's what I'm saying. That's but, exactly what it, that's, but, that's, that's, that's it. But we, that always about, we always talk about. We always talk about it. But I mean, like going back to the Boba Fett, that's a private collector that's paying what half a million dollars for one yeah, little. Yeah, he paid half a million. I mean, yeah, think much. about that. That's the second one this year, that's reached close to that. So. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, mean, I mean, so somebody wanted to spend that. What else does he have in his collection, mean, right? Yeah. What yeah, else well, does he have in that I mean, collection? It's more than it's, you. It's, to me, it just blows my mind of the stuff that when I find out what that person actually has, like you, you told me you have yeah. that 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 faker, like, oh man, that's yeah, that's fucking awesome, you know, but. <laughs> 
when it comes to um, I, I, I'm not shocked I'm not shocked to know what private collectors did. I guess it opened a world for you from it. you that's have experience what, what yeah exactly yeah. Yeah. because I've, I mean I've seen and I've heard and like I have to talk to this guy to talk to that guy to talk to that guy <laughs> and I have to go through yeah. stuff like that before yeah. like and, and, I, and sometimes you, like I'm not saying anything. Just, you hit a dead end right there. You just send them my way. You're like, no, dude, you, yeah. you don't understand. You, There's a respect. Yeah, thing. yeah. It's, 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 yeah. so it's private collector, private collector. That's all it is. They, they yeah. don't want to know about it. They don't trust it. And like the money's the same. It's the same color. You ever it's thought about obviously you're okay. So you're you're a, as a private collector. You sell into an open collector. Is is there at some point something like no? I will sell only to private collectors, or there's no. private collectors that I will only sell to private to me, collectors. A collector is a collector. I don't care if you're private, pu public, or whatever. It's a collector. But are you really? Opinion, right? Yeah, my opinion is what? Are, what are you? Are you a passionate collector? Mm -hmm. So I, it doesn't matter how you collect. Mm -hmm. it depends on your passion. To you, to do me. you think there's other people that like only sell to private collectors? They're like, do you, do you think it's like part of the community or that? So you, are know. you saying like uh, they, they, you know, they only sell private collectors to deal with like there's a cult somewhere? Yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. I said there was a society on that. Yeah, like a society of people that. That only share with I think there might be I think there might I, I am not part of it But like I said I'm pretty sure and like probably people, the rule is to say I'm not a part of it Right <laughs> That's the number one do yeah. not, do no, That's Rule number one Do not talk about The private collection right? club Yeah Yeah, yeah. That, yeah I, Like I said I know I know, And I say it again Because When I do some transactions Like I have to jump He has to talk to this guy To talk to this guy To talk to this guy yeah. Like dude Like that's too much but that's, that's, how bad do you want it? Exactly. That's so what I have to be patient. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all it is being patient. I'm little, I'm, honestly, I'm a little bit more impatient. No, uh, we are not. A lot, a, lot <laughs> a lot more impatient. And, and it, actually, when we were t making a deal, you were the one to slow me down. And you were like, no, no, think about it. Think about it for a week. And I was already to, you, I was ready to give you an answer. But it was a. <laughs> but, but yeah, these, these things I don't want to pressure anybody because, like, you know, it, it's not, you know, like you said, it's, it's a big transaction. From, you yeah. don't want that. And you know, you don't want to mess it up for somebody. Yeah. Like, but you know, honestly, yeah. on that week. Yeah. I sort of got. I don't know what you were feeling. <laughs> I can it was, only it was a, a big, you know, up and down and all that. But in that week before I, 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 because I feel like I didn't confirm, but I, 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 I think I gave you a, an offer back, like a counter offer, and then we we wait for another week or something like that. It was like it was not the first yeah, response, but yeah. but in that first week, I was like, at some point, I sort of got. I was my answer was like. You know, you have uh, uh, zero percent to a hundred percent. Yeah. From zero percent being no, hundred percent it was like yes, all in. At one point, I was at zero percent. I was like, ah, no, I'm not gonna do it. I felt that because because you ha you had to think about it, and because I, I I it's it's something that I mean based on the collection that you have, and even, I can see that crossing that your was mind. Even if you accepted my my offer. Yeah. Even with my offer, I was like I was at a zero percent. Yeah. And then. Chalking it over with my wife, with Carlos, which mm -hmm. is almost the same. <laughs> <laughs> or sometimes even worse with Carlos. <laughs> um, uh, we can talk about that. In later. <laughs> uh, she, she just made, he just made a scene earlier for me. It was oh. worse than my wife. I was, I was supposed to stay quiet this whole podcast. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. Oh, that <laughs> I'll was we'll talk about that a little bit. <laughs> but, but I was talking over and I was like, and I think my wife was the one that, that she was like, no, nah, but if you want... And, and uh, 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 the opposite, a lot of people think about, like, oh, do your wife, she, does she know how much you spend? Is she mad? Because, mm -hmm. no, she's sometimes the ones that... Like, supportive. Put, supportive. Put, supportive. You have, have, you have, you have my wife is supportive as well. If you do not have someone supportive, you yeah, cannot... Yeah. It's hard. You're yeah. going to be it's hiding, 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 hiding by yourself. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. By yourself. So, <laughs> I think yeah. one of the big... It was it was, it was was her support. You know, like, if you really want it, they think about it. And then, and then I was talking with an old friend. And then, like I said, because one of them is like, nah, it's crazy. And then they're like, nah, I don't do it. And, they're like, and in my head, also my own thoughts. And then at one point, like, it was a one full day. We're like, nah, I'm not going to do it. And then, like, again, like, bouncing it over, like, no, no, I, think I, I definitely want to do it. <laughs> but that, that's Once, why time is important. Yeah. Because, like, you know, you said it was $500. I mean, is that going to make or break a deal? It is. And with time, you know it. Because at one point, you're like, 100% in. And then you're like, man, I'm not going to pay that for that. You know? <laughs> yeah. that, that's like, you start, hold on, wait a minute. You, you start, start contemplating with yourself. It, like, <laughs> See, when, when you say uh, you're sure and all that, I'm like, no, once I made the decision, yeah, that money's gone, I, I, whatever. I, I made my peace with it. But in that week, it was not about me buying that figure. It was like, what else can I do with this money? Yeah. Where can I invest it? How can I make it more? How do you uh, multiply that, it? it yeah. Was, yeah, yeah. So it was a lot of those, th th those thoughts. And I'm like, oh, man, I feel like, ugh. 
Uh, but now, once I came to, to uh, like, I want to say yes. That's why you have to you wait. That's why I said give you a week and think about but it I'll, before I'll, you I'll, gave I'll, that I answer. I was so excited that the first day I was like, Because I, was, I, think, I, I, yeah, I, yeah. I think Kevin talks with experience, so you already kind of know. Have you ever dealt with other big, I'm pretty sure you dealt with yeah. big transactions like yeah. this, so you already know how. And, and also, even with and small I'm, transactions, people people hesitate. And when they hesitate, that's when you're like, okay, think about mm. it. Give yourself some time. And if anybody rushes you. Don't do the transaction because mm, yeah. you're going to regret it. And not only are you going to regret it, you're going to hate that piece. Mm. You're going to hate that piece forever. <laughs> you think, know? I, 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 I think, gonna I think you kind of you I think, I think of understand that with them trolls because that was yeah. a transaction you were pretty upset yeah. about. And was, it, was, it, was, it was a transaction with, with some trolls that I was super what upset. Trolls? It was the Turtles? giant trolls, so yeah. the turtles. Uh-huh. Uh, but it was, it, was, it, was, it was not the price of the figures. It was at the end of the day, like the shipping they were from. And he was so thrilled. The thing about it, I mean, that was one of his his... I like, dude, you should be happy. He's like, man, dude, I'm just not. I'm just not because just, the way that it, it, the shipping thing, the price, he didn't tell me how much it was going to be. I thought, anyways, what's the bad? So, yeah, so you had a bad experience, yeah. bad experience, and, and you don't want that, you know. And that, then that. I ended up selling those as uh-huh. part of the as part of the to get money for this. I'm, I'm, I don't, I don't even, I don't right. feel like I want to keep those. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm happy with the letting them go. Yeah. Uh, uh, it, because it, it was, it was not a rush transaction. But it was just a transaction that. Uh, but you say you were happy to let them go. You see, when you know when you get, when the transaction that we made. I'm not only happy, I was fucking ready to let them. You go. were just ready, see, and that's the thing. I I would rather these, like I said, I would rather them stay in one spot. Yeah. If you had a bad experience, you would split that apart because I'm pretty sure there's not going to be one person trying to jump on everything at once. Mm-hmm. Maybe there might be a few people, but there's not going to be many people out there that are going to jump on it at with once. Or just with all. Yeah, yeah. So they're not going to jump on it at once and. I don't want them to split it up. That's one of the collecting side of me. I don't want because it's gonna make it difficult for whoever you know wants them later mm. on. Yeah. You know, they're gonna try to hunt one piece by one piece because you see people who have you know prototypes, for example. You see they have one prototype, you know, two prototypes here, but then that's it. Then yeah. you see one guy he has prototypes the whole line. Yeah, yeah. you know that's beautiful. <laughs> I think yeah, that's beautiful. Exactly. Right I, just, there. I just need one pro- one more prototype for this, and hopefully, I, I, think I know you, where it is. I think you can do it. I honestly think hopefully. you do it, and you know, I. I you know, I've contacted, I've talked to that guy myself, you know. Like, Me but too. I will let him know bar. that, you know, if he sees this and he's a true collector, hopefully he lets it go to you. Because it, I want to yeah. see him in one spot. Exactly. You know, that would be mm-hmm. awesome. And, and that's, what, that's, what we, that's what I was telling you. Like, you're going to be considered, you know, the, well, he is considered pretty much yeah. the muscle man guy. I mean, the muscle man guy because I haven't seen a collection like that. You know, yeah. muscle muscle collection. I Just mean, like how the guy, there's a guy for the Dino Riders. There's a guy for the gi- um, Dino Saucers. Mm, dino Saucers. Uh, a guy so, for the Street Sharks. The Street Sharks. Well, yeah, yeah. We know the Street Sharks. Yeah. For five hundred dollars, you could be that guy for the <laughs> Dino Saucers. <laughs> <Right, right. laughs> no, yeah, uh, no, nah, man. This is this is like it was a crazy transaction. Yeah. Uh, I love the way that you collect. Uh, I would love to want. T- you know, if you ever display or you like, I would love to ever once visit your your collection. You're more than welcome, man. If you're ever up there, just let me know. I I, I definitely <laughs> planning on, on going to Ohio because this is that's one of my. Yeah, I was there yeah. for the the power con for the power con. I've been there a couple of times. Do you go to those shows? Um, I haven't been to the one. I know they they stopped this year. But they stopped bringing this it back year. next year, I believe. I'm not sure if they do, believe, but but yeah. uh, but I want. I've been wanting to go. The thing is, when they, whenever they do the the, I want to do the Great Ohio Toy Show. Oh, that's that's a good show. The one is Zeno. Yeah, yeah. But uh, but they always do it on on when my job is Saturday. high end mm-hmm. and uh, high end season, and then is uh, uh, for my job. Yeah. And the I I work on, yeah. on 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 Saturday on Saturdays on weekends. This weekend it was practically 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 off. So that's why I was like, all right, let's do. And I remember like, let me let me check some weekends that yeah. I'm off because otherwise I won't I won't be able to. But uh. But I'm just happy that that everything not only happened for the collection, but also Isaias was available. He also works on Saturdays. Okay. Mm-hmm. Carlos was here. Oh. Happy to be here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this, very, this, very happy. Let's, let's talk about it really quick before we we say goodbye. Like, as a good friend. Oh my God! Here we go. The best friend. <laughs> she'll forget your your birthday, right? If you're a true friend, <laughs> you forget the birthday. <laughs> so I forgot. I forgot his birthday it was this week. Oh, um, and he came here like all, all upset and all mad, all, like all, all jumping, like, "What is it? What is that? What's up to you?" Okay. Like mm, nothing. Like, oh, <laughs> that's what you meant by what he said earlier. Like, okay. like, what are you cracking, man? Like, is like, it your birthday? Yeah, this, this past week was oh, my birthday. birthday. Like, and, then, and then my wife said something like, "Yeah, because it was my birthday." So we were like, 
Oh, that's why you're cranky. You're like, I'm sorry, man. I'm like, happy <laughs> you owe for that. You owe her for that. Like, There's only one thing that's going to make me happy. But yeah, see, uh, he does more scenes than to me than my wife. Yeah. Like, yeah. He, makes more, yeah. he makes more scenes. Than my wife. I, I, so you know what? I'm going to just give you a silent treatment and this podcast. <laughs> I'm not saying nothing. <laughs> so guys, everybody wish uh, Carlos a happy birthday on yeah, the thank comments. You, thank you, guys. thank you, thank you, guys. So, uh, we're gonna leave it there. Is there anything that you wanna add, or are you? No. Are you happy? With I'm, it? Are you I'm happy? happy. Uh, this conversation, I wanted to have this conversation for 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 months and months <laughs> and months. I appreciate you coming, brother. Did I yeah, answer yeah, your definitely. questions? Did you have any more questions for me or anything like that? No, uh, you just you just owe me a faker. That's all. Yeah, just oh, that's it. That's all. That's, <laughs> all. that's, that's all. That's all. For that's all. You never know. <laughs> you know. That's what I told brought, him. He, he, you never know. He came from from like for me. So you're gonna owe me a finder's fee. All right. All right. That's how I do it. All right, so thank you, thank you, yes, Kevin, for coming yes, over. Yes, yes. Carlitos, thank you so much. Isaias, appreciate thank it. You, right. So everybody, uh, please, you know, share the video, comment, uh, share yeah. it, like, and all that. I don't know, if, Kevin. You look at the YouTube at, at the at the podcast, but I mean, there might be some questions, and you know, you always chime in and yeah. let us know what you want to answer. Because I'm pretty sure there's going to be some guys that have questions because, especially yeah. with yeah, the I'm private sure. collector, yeah. Yeah. there's always going to be questions. Yeah. So. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Thank yes. you, Kevin. Really, yes. really appreciate you not only for coming for for the for the podcast, but you know, to, for the transaction. Making your day. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, I, yeah, I'm over the moon right now, man. Yeah. Appreciate that. Yeah. Appreciate Anytime. it. Anytime. Thank Anytime. you. Thank you. Everybody, right. thank you guys. Yes. Have a good one. All right, guys. Bye. Bye.